What's up, everybody? You may know me as AT2, but my real name is Andre Turner II from California, and this is my story, Surviving Cowwood. I started following Cowwood on uh, Snapchat originally. Um, he actually, well, I think, you know, uh, back in the day, well, people still do it. They share each other's uh, snap codes. Now you don't have to do, I guess, no. Uh, now you don't have to do that. People were sharing snap codes, so I think that's how he found me. Um, he actually had hit me up and was like, hey, I'm trying to put together a Snapchat group. You know, we do like different skits and stuff like that. And I thought the concept was dope as hell. I can never take that away. I was all like, yo, I'm down for this. You know, I was first starting out on social media. I didn't really know too many people around me, you know, in my vicinity that like to do the same things and wanted to be an entertainer. So, you know, I found this dude and, you know, he, I don't know, something just seemed a little off. Like to me, he seemed like one of those dudes that used to sell CDs in front of Walmart. And, you know, and he can tell you this, I had told him this before, um, also. And so I was kind of like, oh, a little skeptical. So, you know, I told him that I would think about it. So one day I get um, a message like I was in like this group chat thing and I was like, what the hell? And uh, it was actually shout out to Jay because Jay was the one who said like, well, I only said I'll be in the group because he said you was in the group. So you in the group, whether you like it or not. So I appreciate her for doing that because uh, we had some good times. And then there was times where it wasn't so good. Um, you know right okay so it was seven of us in a group um the, the group we really meshed well yo and i love when we used to do like skits and stuff like that it was so much fun uh my favorite skit would probably have to be um well there are so many we actually did a lot like i believe like we were ahead of our time and we didn't even know it like we had the hell date skit uh, we had the catfish skit, which, you know, I did um, the catfish skit with someone else and that kind of sparked, you know, sequels to that. Um, we also uh, would just hop on there and just come up with like different entertainment. We did truth or dare. Um, just dang, it was a good time. And like that was back when everybody had a goal and everybody was trying to get somewhere. But I think when you have seven different individuals with their own personality, I think that's where things get kind of messed up when everybody don't have the same goals. I think because of his managing skills, not that he was ever our manager, but I felt like if he was going to be the leader, he should be the one to step up to the plate. And there was times where he wasn't stepping up to the plate. Um, for example, um, there was times where videos had to get done, things had to get moving, and I felt like he was kind of waiting on us to tell the other members to step up, but I thought since this was like his brainchild and something that he brought up, that he should have been the one to do it. I think we noticed as time went on, people weren't turning in their videos, uh, people weren't in the group chat, people weren't really participating, and it really took a toll on all of us because it's all like, man, like, what the hell's going on? And at that time, we needed a leader. I don't think he was really stepping up to the plate, but I still didn't blame him because people are going to do what they want to do, so I can't really hold him accountable for that. Um, I don't know. We kind of had a heart to heart a conversation uh, with a few of the other members. Uh, we decided to let uh, one member go, and then we let another member go, and then we let another member go. And it was kind of like, okay, well, we're going to rock with, you know, the five of us, and hopefully, well, actually, four of us, and hopefully, we can pull this together. And I think it almost could have worked. But then that's when all the drama started. Um, I can't really say anything bad about Catwood. I just remember him giving us a contract that came from Google that still had other people's names on it. And we was just, you know, everybody in the group did not want to sign a fucking contract. Bitch, stop blowing at me down in the right. You're in the wrong hole. <laughs> and I'm mad at Jay because I don't, I don't 
Okay, so I remember something about a contract, but I don't ever remember seeing the contract. And she swears he sent, like, the contract with a whole bunch of errors and shit like that. But, hey, if he did, he did. If he didn't, he didn't. Uh, but I do remember him mentioning the contract, but I never signed it, or I don't remember seeing one. If anybody got that contract, please send it to me, okay? Uh, anyway. So much mess, you know what I'm saying? We was in a group message, text message from... The people that was on the Snapchat meetup, and so apparently some people that affiliated with Calwood wanted to go on the meetup, and they didn't ask me to ask somebody else in the group, and I don't know what the person said, because like I said, it's a bunch of mess. But Janetta didn't say a motherfucking thing, cause ain't nobody, no, nobody came and asked me, can you go on a motherfucking meetup? It was never a secret on my end. I ain't give a fuck. I always been open, raw, and uncut. So if you would have asked me, the answer would have been, yeah, bitch, you can come. Anybody could have came. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, that wouldn't even, you know, I don't know. Bitch, I don't even know why y'all asked me to do this shit. You, oh, because you want the truth? That's all I can give you. It's the truth. You know, um, one of the members where it really hurt me that left was uh, J versus K. Um, just because, like, you know, like I said, she told me, like, well, I only agreed to be in the group because you were going to be in the group. So it kind of was all like, dang, I can't believe, like, she left. But I totally understand why. This is what happened. I had, um, I had, it's funny, I had actually did a Snapchat meetup. And, you know, it was cool. It was fun. We had a good time. Well, there was like, and I don't want to say it was a secret. It's just that not everybody was invited. So I guess, yeah, hell, I'm just going to say how it is. It was a secret. So, you know, I feel like he felt a certain kind of way about it. And I admit, I felt a certain kind of way about it. But at the end of the day, I thought to myself, I was like, well, hell, it just wasn't meant for me to go. Like, it wasn't my thing, you know? It was meant for these people. And at the time, I was unemployed. I couldn't even afford it anyway. But I feel like he felt a certain kind of way about it. And he went on this long-ass rant. And that's when everything just went downhill um, because he called out everybody who went to the meetup. Um, and Jay was a part of that make meetup. And she she would never say like, oh, I don't want anybody to come. Let's, that's not how she rocks. It's not how she rolls at all. Rock and roll. Y'all caught that shit. Um, but that's not what she does. And I think like he took that to heart. Like these people are not going to invite me. How dare they not invite me? Like almost like he was the say all be all of everything snapchat and it wasn't like that but i can say that he got upset because i wouldn't let him take over my account because he was trying to be messing to somebody else and i'm like i ain't in that don't put me in that don't get on my page with that all right sometimes in the group it was like if he had beef with somebody we all had beef with that person and it never should have been that way never had it with uh brian doughboy uh, he also, um, <laughs> they had a little, uh, back and forth, well, not a little back and forth, a big back and forth because they went in. But anyway, um, you know, I feel that, you know, there was like a lot of people all like, you're just attacking us. Like we ain't going to take that shit. So everybody ended up deleting him, blocking him. Um, and I think, <laughs> you know. Uh, that situation was like one of many so I think like what really got to Jay was all like you know what it's too much drama going on that's not what I'm here for so she chose to walk away from the group so she was not kicked out she chose to walk away and I was just like man like what what are we gonna do like do we get new members I mean do we try to rock with the three of us but if you guys remember, Thu was a part of this uh, group called The Good, Bad, and Ugly. And Calwood didn't like that too because... Yeah.